Welcome on back in everyone to Total War Warhammer 3 in part 7 of our legendary Yuan Bo Immortal Empires campaign. In today's episode we have caught the Twisted Twin in an ambush, but uh, as is likely Zinch's way, he probably knows exactly what's going on and is uh, well set up for it. In the terrain we've got, uh, plan is definitely going to be setting up in this choke point or over here against this wall depending on where his units are. I am going to bet that a lot of his are going to try to turn and run for the hills. Uh, but they are, they, there's some pretty scary stuff across the field here with the Doom Knights and Zinch. Uh, Screamers aren't actually going to be that scary. Uh, but even these Chaos Furies have a lot of melee attack, magical attacks to bypass any kind of resistances or Onyx Chroman might have, so we're going to have to move in pretty aggressively with them and deal with them post haste. I did notice though, it kind of looks like there is a, a little bit of another bug afoot where the enemies are not actually benefiting from the current um, event taking place. I've forgotten what it's called already, but I it's the blood battle is a blood-soaked affair event where you gain an additional 20 to all armies uh, base weapon damage. It doesn't seem to be working out for Village's side, which is fantastic for us. He might have a debuff on him right now where that's that's why he's not gaining the extra weapon damage, but either way, we will absolutely take it. Uh, looks like... Well, we are a little bit outnumbered, but I think we've got them. Crossbow bolts are going to uh, hopefully even those odds quite a bit. Onward to battle. Alright, welcome to the Canyons of Cathay. We have... Well, I mean, this is not a bad setup. The way we can uh, pull up on the other side here, they've got the Doom Knights or any of these centers. So they're going to likely turn and immediately come over after us. Hounds also a plenty, so we are going to want to set up at least one of our units of spears in the forest. Uh, so we'll do something like this. Grab our swordsmen. Make sure they are benefiting from harmony. We can actually just have one unit guarding the... I don't like that so much. Let's have two. Maybe. Praise the dragon. Want them to not be taking too much of a flanking penalty, but I don't mind the unit being a little bit more clumped together. Defenders Their armor Cathay. should shrug off any of the uh, spells Village himself should be throwing at us, unless he gets some really, really good blue fires, which is a, is a possibility. Go ahead and throw the other spear unit on the other side there, just in case he tries to flank around on that end either. Love the Iron Hail guns to be out front, but I don't think we're going to have much much opportunity to use them. We could try to use them to snipe units as they, they flee around. But then that leaves them quite exposed. I am determined to figure out how to use Iron Hail guns in this, this campaign here. Glory. Put them up on elevation. They should still be able to fire. We can, we can use them as the fodder for those Doom Knights as well. I'd rather them get attacked than uh, one of our crossbow teams. Which is a bit brutal, but it's war. So crossbows here, and actually they can also turn and help them if, say, the crossbows get charged by the Doom Knights. Uh, the Iron Hail guns can then start blasting their shotguns into their backs, which works out also just fine. Our most high-value targets here are going to be, for our, at least our crossbows, are going to be first the Doom Knights, then the Exalted Pinks. Uh, we're probably going to have two units firing on each, if we can. Getting rid of the Exalted Pinks is going to be very important, getting them so where they're starting to disintegrate. And then we'll probably switch on over to going after the spawn. Onyx Chroman are going to be on anti-fury duty, and then going after the Screamers, because they've actually... Since they're benefiting from the buff, they have the equal weapon strength to those Screamers. Uh, plus uh, 10 extra bonus versus inventory, which will let them rip right through those Furies, hopefully. Last two units of Jade Warriors. Let's have you make the center even more safe. Or, or more dangerous to magic. Thankfully, there's no Zinch's Firestorms yet for him. Spears defending our backs. Not the best of lineups, but we'll take it. General up front, and then our last Jade Warriors in the back to be uh, kind of the backup legion. Alright, front line, guard mode. Missiles, also guard mode. And then you and Crowman can be a squad. Let's do it. Go get those Furies right off the bat here. Crossbows, you guys, if you can, target do Doom Knights. 
Oh, we got a... Oh, yeah, the pink fire's gonna hurt the Iron Hill guns. That is for sure. I'm just not even gonna give the Iron Hill guns targets. We're gonna try to bring them around. Crows are throwing down pretty well here, up in the skies. They've destroyed the Furies, now it's on to the Screamers. Let's go ahead and charge on in. Get that hammer. A working. Other Jade Warriors move on in, they're just trying to blast apart my Iron Hill guns. The disrespect. Uh, Doom Knights are still trying to find targets. None of them have fallen just yet, but there go all the Screamers. And charge them into those Chaos Trolls. You guys move in to deal with the last of the uh, Pink Horrors, and we'll have you focus fire in on this uh, Warrior of Zeech group. Bring the Iron Hill, Iron Hill guns around to get the shotguns on the flanks. Going quite well. Well, they got some of the Doom Knights in on the back line, which is not lovely. You guys move in to help. Looks like they've actually disrupted all of them at once, which is impressive. Well done. Roman have annihilated the Pink Horrors. Let's get back to the air. If I can get the Doom Knights away, we can go after them instead. In fact, let's just go try to chase them down. Iron Hell Guns rotate just a little bit, get close enough to start firing. I don't want to get close enough that they uh, pull away and attack us themselves, though. Crossbows fall back a bit. Repositioning. We'll bring these spears in to bear as well. What about with these other trolls here? So he's not winning. Uh, but all the, the damage he takes is so the, our normal soldiers are not having to. Shotguns firing. I don't know that they're able to. Shoot a little bit closer, but do so warily. It may turn it after you at any time. Yep, here they come. We're firing. Oh, no, they're not going to be able to. Come on, one volley. That's all you're going to need. All right, that was... That was pretty pitiful. I can't lie. Right, you guys fall back and let the other ones keep firing. Uh, you're going to need to fire on these trolls as they run through. Well done, Croman bring them out of the fight, but they did. Oof. All right, those pink fires are, are very dangerous on, on the proper units. Everyone else with a crossbow. Come on round so you can actually get some shots in to proper targets. We'll swing the crows over to help out the uh, shotgun ladies. What's in Forsaken have chosen to switch their targeting as well. Let's just bring these ladies over a little bit. They can kind of be the, the distraction. Pink fire is obnoxious. You need to stop right now. I love the spears. Just kind of stay here. Crossbows took a lot of damage. We'll have these other guys just kind of hang out. Keep harmony across the entire line. Uh, Papa you. Let's give us some more, more physical resistance. Crows back up in the air. They're great at scaring units off. Uh, shotguns get to work on these Alberts. We'll have these crows keep moving over and terrifying off the enemy, uh, the enemy hound dogs. Just landing should steer them off. Oh, don't walk in the way, please. Iron Hill guns, you stress me out. You guys turn around so you can actually fire. That'd be lovely. In fact, if we get all of our surviving crossbows to fire on these warriors and zinc with Alberts, it'd be great. I think fire doing more damage to friendly units than our own. Love to see it. All right, those hounds are going for a walk. And dive in here for the lovely sounds of gunpowder. And victory. More of Village's lads actually stayed to fight than I expected. We're going to stay here, have ourselves a bit of target practice, and I'll, I'll catch you in a moment. And one for the history books. Heroic victory to 2200 gold gain for our uh, our war spoils here, and village has been sent packing. Hopefully we've got enough troops we can get in for another battle and try to get even more tokens for us, but we've gained a few ranks there, which is fantastic. 
Uh, let's go ahead and take the replenishment. There's lots of enemies nearby. Fields. It is good to see you. Much has changed. Yeah, it's not. It's not Lee Dell right now. Stand with Cathay. Shine celestial light on our foes. Join their war with the Blue Roses. I think I can do that. No problem. How much gold do you have, though? Yes, pay me your customary 89 coins. Agreed. May you live long. The longest. Ooh, just harmony of stone and steel. No good. The winds blow ill, and your soldiers suffer a great imbalance in the force. Uh, they rage as if possessed, claiming to see enemies all around, screeching to dispense the Emperor's justice. Herbalists claim to even glimpse flickering flames behind their eyes. Cursed Chian Chi. Uh, we're going to go ahead and send them to the Dragon River, uh, which we'll go ahead and uh, drop our construction costs by 80% for all Yin buildings, which is great. I guess we could go for Mandatory Meditation as well, which would just give us more charge bonus. We're basically just utilizing the Fury. Fury can't be quenched, perhaps it can be mastered. Breathing exercises will calm them until the next battle, and then they can unleash this rage upon deserving targets. Or we'll go ahead and send them all to the Dragon River. Upon bathing in these sacred waters, not only will their fire be dimmed, the spirit dragon will have their ancestors bear witness to their ugly fury. In their shame, they will know harmony once more. Yes, shame the people. That seems like a lot more money than we had to actually- Excuse me. Oh, he's gonna drain our magic. Unfortunately for you, the only magic he has is the magic of Bonk. Uh, village is running for the hills. Being chaos, he can pull in marauders from just about everywhere. This, though, gets him on the back foot enough that uh, Miao Ying has now actually made some gains. Which is beautiful. Neither Thaman's strength nor village's sorcery could hope to match this one's martial power. Uh, so his army's gonna have a little bit more wins of magic capacity, and then he himself has five extra defense. Which is great. Uh, we just need a spellcaster or two in Yuo's army. Which actually with... Oh. I thought we could get Astromancers everywhere now. We could have a whole bunch of them, but he doesn't give us the ability to have them anywhere. Interesting. There may be a landmark building that allows us to. Celestial General. Still lacking on the ROR units. We just need to get of the Yuan Bo into a few more battles. We'll grab Root Marcher here with you, and then just your aim for all of our peasant archers. And crossbows. Does the range go for the crossbows too? Oh, good grief, it does. You would turn down such a 68. Alright, yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna complain about that ever. In all really want to move on Kunlan. Uh, so let's go ahead and see. There's Mutant here, which is an entirely new lord we haven't, we haven't seen before. Oh, you're the one they befuddled the mind. You can't move as far, and it's a good chance you're gonna get ambushed. See, that's not great. Take time to gain the enemy's measure. You're lucky. I don't know where the rest of these rats are. They've taken the village of the moons. So they could pounce out of there at any at any moment. Don't see. Oh, they've. And when Zheng C uh, decides to go straight through enemy territory to come after us, gotta build up a new force. Post haste. We're gonna have time. Where are they likely to attack? Probably Bridge of Heaven or Shilong, since they're the weakest. Let's defend Bridge of Heaven. We'll go ahead and recruit on in a, a Dragon Blooded Shugan Gun. Let's go, Trek. Wounded for three turns. We've got a Tactician, or with Lu Long, or Fervent Questioner with Lan Fu. And those are the two young. Uh, these are the yeah, those are the two Yang versions, and then for the Yin, we've got Fleet of Foot and Wise. They will have different magics, depending. What's going to be the best to clear out the undead? What do you have in your army? I am denied. Come on, little brother, give us some information. Can't be done. All right, that's fine. We'll make do. Uh, so Shugan Gun of probably Yang then. For all the fire spells to clear out the big groups of chaff. Let's go for Lan Fu, the perfect questioner. But then we're gonna have to rename her to Yuan Fu. Dragon blooded sugar. 
Ah, uh, Mulan. Second front. Okay, so your attention has spread on many fronts. Time is surely nigh to raise a second army. Seek to raise an additional force as soon as you can afford it. A thousand treasure. Adorn my chamber in five One of my favorites, the old the old Disney animated films. Not the live action. That's that's black. That's black prime. Grab the Dragon's Breath here, Strength of Young. Is that no, that's not actually all that useful right now. Let's go Wall of Wind and Fire and it upgrade to Dragon's Breath for maximum fire casting. A gift from my ancestors. Indeed. Ah, oh, we've got Yen alignment here, so our recruitment is gonna be very, very delayed. Not great for defending this, the uh, the lands, is it? Hmm. Let's go archers here. Archers through global, and then long spears, which is unfortunate use of our gold, but we don't really have a choice. Gold increase by a whole bunch here. The golden, uh, the goods emporium, I think, is a good call. That's only if we can hold them back. That is forbidden. Yoy. We might need to pull the rat uh, front back a little bit. They're just too far away. We can take to the the river, but even then, it's going to be a pretty quite a long, quite a long journey. All right, Lonfu, you have to hold the line for now. But I do think it's going to be best to send him back. So let's go march. He's been a back and forth, hasn't he? For this unit, we'll come back into Ming Zhu and see what we can recruit. These two Iron Hill guns were fantastic. Let's grab a few more flyers, though, to make sure we have maximum aerial dominance. That was also incredibly key there. We'll go one more kind of expendable unit of spearmen. I bet. Aerial dominance is also going to be incredibly important against the Skaven because they can only shut down one of our units per uh, per ruin wizard. The All right then, Jade Dragon. So I've got him sitting up here recruiting on in one of our celestial lions. Sitting for two turns was going to hurt me, but something we needed to do. Put you into march for one turn. Take a bit of attrition. Inefficiency is intolerable. I agree. We need you moving as fast as we can over to the Monument of the Moon. Even if it means taking a little bit of attrition. Dropping down to 149 troops. No problem. Unless they recruit up another army there real quick. Uh, then we'll probably change strategy a bit. Alright, well we're out of gold. We've got two coins. We could go ahead and of the uh, jade variety or stone variety. We go ahead and rush construction. I want to save up for the four to grab ourselves a commercial district. To keep the uh, the tokens picking up to the maximum four we're allowed. Born to rule. Non-aggression pact with Katarin. Stately affairs. Let us discuss. I honor we definitely need some little groms. Katayan. Katayan. Little Grom in our armies for sure. I am yes. Yeah. Also, as long as she's actually built in the Hagwitch building, we can get uh, the things in the wizard thing from her, which is incredible. Fall. Celestial. You should give it the big toad. Not today, sir. We are instead going to zoom back down to Yuan Bo. Get ready to charge on out towards Port Reaver. All right, an uneventful in turn, but they are raiding now in the Bridge of Heaven, which is to be expected. Uh, likely, now that we were, she's just raiding, probably going to attack Shilong, so we are going to have to drive out the it Undead Menace, which is unfortunate. Uh, but that's what we're here for. Both the Raven and Spectazuma. Shen, a single word shredding sanity, wherever it's spoken. See, a large black, uh, black bird was the first to utter it. Now all who hear it soon say nothing else, laughing hysterically as they bark into the ears of those around them. Chin, 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 chin. All of the chins. No, I'm She's being with her bombs. bomber mob, animated hulks. This is probably a pretty, pretty well set up force here. 
Meanwhile, we're, we're just some peasants with a dream. Uh, well, Lonfu, we're going to definitely drop you in some ancillaries here where we can. Is that just the upkeep production? Is there anything that allows us to recruit infantry at a higher level? Doesn't look like it. Jade Sculptor, but that's only for Jade Warriors, which take more than one turn. All right, then. Alonfu, we need you to stay here and keep recruiting. We can go into Allied. Burn through some more of our Allegiance points with... Uh, the Burning Wind. And the Crane Guns would allow us to knock out Zheng Shi pretty easily. But will they just attack us next turn? I love that they just went right through all this other territory to come after us. Are you even at war with Zhao Ming? Find out. Oh no, that's that would be why there. Soon to change, likely. There's no, we've got Snicket here. Snicket Is mostly Skaven Slave Army. I'm pretty sure we could handle General. that one. It would still be quite a bloody battle, but we could we could handle them. Let's have you come out Move upon into another order. ambush stance, but get you off of your war horse, you have access to all of your survivability. Just target them more often when they're when they're on horses, horseback. Easier to drag them down. Now we need to save most of our gold for soldiers where we can here. Also wouldn't mind a battle or two coming out of Eddie Lee. He's in a bad spot though. Moving through the Dark Lands, taking some attrition. And that's a lot of attrition. Youch. Spends too much time in the presence of dragons. The Emperor's I'm gonna go ahead and name our Celestial Lion. Mochi, after the small little demon I have running around my house. She pokes her head around the corner after I say her name. It's the smallest cat here. And the one that likes to pick the most fights. Onward to Port Reaver. We come across the ocean to retain the most of our movement. In harmony with the road. Thank you. Well, hello, lizards. Would you like to meet Dragon's Fang? Oh, that was one of the best uh, auto resolves I've ever seen. Thank you kindly. Uh, we'll go ahead and. So tempted to stack it. We'll just go ahead and occupy. Expanding we don't have to rebuild anything at all. And here comes the Jade War Drum. Do you hear that? That's the sound of our death approaching. And now, since we've killed 1,500 enemies, uh, the Watcher is watching us. Uh, Satang's Stone Legions. We need to have uh, six units of the following type. Jet, Jade, uh, Jet and Jade Lions, Terracotta Sentinels, or the Green Guardian. Uh, so Grand Cathay's ancient constructs are a source of its great strength. The life forces imbued within previously inanimate sculptures, now brought to life, play a crucial role in the dragon's armies. In the dragon armies, martial prowess. Every last molecule in such entities is magically connected, both inside and out. The bond between all lions and citadels of stone, jade and jet, inexorable and far-reaching. With more of such combatants in your forces, the most powerful of their kin shall also be roused. And that looks like as soon as we have six of them, we'll have Satang join our armies. So as soon as we deal so with uh, through Swaddle here, we'll probably have Yuan Bo rotate back. Try to start recruiting up some... What's going on here with Bretonia? Welcome, Luan, to the Isle of the Crimson Skull. Where apparently the dragon's love is in doubt. Uh, let's go ahead and build up all of the end buildings we can, since they're so incredibly cheap. Problem is, it does hurt our it does hurt our recruitment quite a bit, doesn't it? Wouldn't mind maybe switching us back over into Harmony. That way, we're not having any penalties or benefits. Uh, so let's go ahead and just switch this one to the Bamboo Scaffold Department. That'll drop us back to Yin One. should. 
and then we can go ahead and build in this control isn't looking the best here we could add in the conscription office or just more money let's go conscription office since this is actually the military province for now fire dragon's edict let's swap it back over to Iron Dragons for... Well, let's go for control for now. Jade Dragon. Plan is, Xiao Kang here is going to come on back around after we flame the monument. There's nothing here, so once you replenish up, we should have no problem dropkicking this settlement of skinks. Dragon. We can grab Bureaucrat of the Highest Order. Drop construction cost faction-wide. Of Wuxing. And the Bastion's defenders. Sometimes you must make a st uh, stand against a tide of ruin. That time is now and the place is here. And we can just apply this to Yuanbo in dragon form, make him immune to flanking, and let him kind of dance around in enemy lines. Bloody dance of death. I must hurry. Indeed. Alright, let's jump on back over to the Riverlands, where we can upgrade probably most of our yin buildings here for incredibly dirt cheap, or free in some cases. Free in most cases. Heck yeah. The Imperial Road. I've got things in Yang alignment. I think I'm going to switch them back over to uh, in the middle here as well. So let's do the Scription Field, or Trolls in such a bad place over here. Go ahead and grab, grab the conscription field to help that out. The magistrates can watch from the rear. We got rats all over the place. I I inspire my men. And with uh, Yao Ying's forces being impossible to actually control, we are starting to lose some ground. Servant of the dragons. Do I trust the Lan Fu can hang and hold the line here? No, so I'm going to have to bring you on back. Guide us. I'm going to be uh, dedicated in that one. You need to turn around and go after just anything else. Maybe defend your own territory, please. Where is the promised unity? Here at Mingzhu. I think Wei Jin can hold the line unless there's multiple armies coming across here. So I'm going to, to make that gamble. Attention! We'll just draw you into ambush and likely get ambushed in return. That's the way it be. Is there any better chance here? 70%? Hopefully we're close enough to Mingzhu that they can actually help hold the line. They might not be able to though, so we'll see. There is likely a stack with the Deathmaster, a uh, snack with Stigish the Dominator, and then whoever's inside Kunlan itself. Tides of our enemies approach. Okay, so Lan Fu, that means you start recruiting more troops. Let's go. All we can afford is peasant archers. Uh, spears here, and then we'll grab a unit of Normie warriors from the Burning Wind since they actually have some armor. I think we're going to get run right over. One more unit that's armored here from you guys, and then another unit of archers from the Western provinces. It's none of its, none of its ideal, but. Heed me. Dire Straits be what they are. We'll take a trade agreement Friends with Reichland for sure. Come, of course. Get visibility of the land. We'll find ourselves all sorts of new enemies. Who calls? Whistlin would like to trade as well. By Sigma's will come in peace. Welcome to the Very network. Back. East yes. Cathayan Trading Company. What? We Rich is the entire world. The dragon so let's go ahead and just take the uh, agreements friend, with the Empire. We'll trade as much gold from them as we can. All right. Their fall doesn't matter to me so much. Fall oh, back in, clicking the wrong button is yes. devastating. Go Averland. Only Sigmar's god Ulrich. We're about to get wiped out. Or no. We'll take whatever gold anyway. you've got there. Repel. Chaos. Crazy old Lightdorf. Sigma's my 
Wind Shaper. Right. It's a little bit more gold than we had previously, so we can come on and back in and maybe get a couple extra upgrades to help out with our income. Cattle Ranger would be nice. We just have to hold the line. And then from there, we are going to be dedicated with Yuan Mao coming up this direction and start pushing back both of these enemy armies. We'll leave the Lizard be for now, but I think we're going to have to deal with them soon too, so. Much on Cathay's plate. Swing back over to Yuan Bo. That'll be our turn. Oh, the Western provinces have declared war on Goldtooth, and so we shall join. Alright, we've been surrounded, so we've got the enemy rolling with Depth Guard, a bunch of gun bob, two animated hulks, a couple of bats. Not gonna be a fun fight by any means. We do have the choke point here, so that's kind of our only our only hope. They are gonna be able to just throw stuff at us though, so we'll We'll see if we can if we can hold the line. I'm here for it. Bridge of Heaven. Jing C versus Lan Fu, which we neglected to rename because she might be falling soon. Alright. The four units of bombers is fairly insane, and they're not gonna show us what they're deploying because they have uh, attacked us. That makes it so much more fun. Let's set you boys up front. No bones about it, no one's gonna have a good time here. Right, we'll have the spears up on the sides. How many of them do we have total? Four. How many archers? Also only four. Well lads, I'm gonna need you to fight harder than you ever fought in your entire existence. Those grenades are going to be a huge threat. Spears on the sides, just in case they do try to flank. That are other spearmen up front here. Because it's just going to be a uh, turkey shoot for a moment. We're going to try to use all of the fire magic. Let's grab all of our infantry, so... Like so. Alright then, lads. Let it begin. Oh, and they are indeed just going to flank around with their biggest units. Well, because why wouldn't you? Especially with those hulks. Those things are going to be an absolute menace. Let's see if we can't lure some of the fire into her. We need all of them down here in this gully. Otherwise, there's there's no surviving. Gunnery White is awesome. Alright, do some heals, so we are gonna then see the units we must eliminate. Go ahead and just launch the wall of wind and fire across here first. Bounce off the back, now oh, they're gonna get charged there. Good timing. Not much to be done about it either. Here's your best fight back. Target the gun mob. Should be able to scare them off pretty quickly. We'll go ahead and launch the fire. Can't quite reach the important units. We have to pull away just a moment. That worked out fine. A new path. Fail. Anything for Cathay. Oh, you got a turn. Yeah, we're, we're getting destroyed. The guns can just stand back there and pick off our archers. What we can do about it? Of the wind. All right, let's go more fire through this line here. More of the units we can get rid of. On gilded foot. So Grief. This didn't go very well at all. Wall of wind and fire we can't quite afford, so let's try to survive a bit longer. Try to eliminate the bombers to make the defensive path a little bit easier for us. Descendant of dragons! In Shenyang's name! Sound the 
Not doing bad damage. We'll just charge you in and try to do as much as we can to the enemy lord. It's it's pretty much over here, though. Archer, turn to fire on the Hulk. Get on the gun mob there. We don't have enough magic, really, for anything else. All right, archers, any Hulks you can find, launch arrows at them. Magic we have access to. We're gonna have a little bit more. To speed things along for a moment while our units flee. You guys, come on back in. Launch arrows at this group of Hulks. If we can eliminate at least one of them, that's that's good stuff. Pull away from the Death Guard, otherwise you're gonna get routed very quickly. Pull that back through the line. Is of the Spirit Dragon. With at least the Holtz. Come on, lads. As much damage as possible. I just don't think it's going to be enough. Let's see if you can take down Robbie. Group of Holtz is the most weakened. Go for it. Archers all focus on this group of bombs. Death Guard is still chasing her, so it's highly unlikely. Actually, able to defend himself pretty well. This way. You know, a little bit more magic to blend up the bomb mob. Crash into the back of them, see if we can't scare them away. The then there will be the dead rise again after the battle, so it's not like we are going to uh, probably do too much damage to them. Should have expected a a uh, irony ambush. Next time we will be. Boy, just for a moment we can probably get some more magic. How much more do we have access to? Plenty if you just keep running. Ah, but she's caught. Go oh, cool. Got her away once more. We need six wins for the wall. Rallying. Alright, we've got the Wall of Wind and Fire. Let's go ahead and launch it through the units that are already disintegrating if we can. Bathed in celestial light, leading the way. Ah, uh, she's in the middle of it. Luckily, she launched the fire, but oh, we're not going to get the damage. How sad. Man, yeah, we fought our hardest. Alright, well, we do end up falling in combat there, but they do lose... Almost all the units we actually managed to take out, so the only ones they get to bring back from the dead being uh, the zombie deckhand mob, which is... Oh, they get the animated hulks, too. So two pretty good units. Who the warriors return. The caravan was being tracked. Followed. After moving into a defensive stance and drawing weapons, the potential enemies emerged and turned out to be friends. A group of mercenaries who have fought alongside and spilled blood with you in the past. More like friends than mere colleagues, in fact. Uh, Sword Brothers and Missile Warriors. Uh, we could actually probably use a few more spears. Let's go for some... Uh, good version. Missile Warriors it is. Alright, army mobilizes against the enemy. Ambush was foiled, Lan Fu was slain, and the Bridge of Heaven lost. We now need to build up any of our settlement building to level 5, giving us Cleansing Water. A uh, spell shield and a sword of strife. Not bad at all. Can we just move on a hexawaddle now and cut the head off the snake? I will oversee the supply train. Oh, we can. Lawaka here is uh, betraying his people. Still gonna be a large fight, but we can absolutely handle it. Uh, Zhao Kang, you move. You deal with the monument of the moon. You gotta have some, some wins here somewhere. This belongs to me now. In Sen Yang's name. Beautiful. Uh, we'll go ahead and just claim this back. At once. Pavaloxa is back under Lord our control. Reporting. All is as it should be. Master I actually can't wait to get this guy in his blimp. His battle blimp. We actually, he doesn't get the battle blimp anymore. Oh no, here it is. I'm big old fool. Skyland is used by the dragon's armies to observe enemies from on high. It's all sorts of fun. Upgrades to it here with like whistling bullets. 
reduce melee defense and melee attack. I'm hoping in the future we'll get kind of an artificer style. A Cathayan, I guess, DLC, where we get a hero that actually buffs up all of the constructs and the different, uh, like, war machines of Cathay. Uh, so, Zhao Kang, I realize we just immediately jumped out of your army. Looks like a logistician here for more replenishment. Be on guard. Beautiful. Okay. The celestial sorcerer. Corey pounds with you on bow. I do absolutely want the Jade Wardrum here in his army. It belongs here. It also is going to act as a harmony amplifier, so wherever he is not, they're still going to have that lovely amplification. This is a pretty excellent army. We've also got we've got Mochi here as the, the crazy winged lion with the most speed. I'm going to have my Jade Lion be called... We've got, I think, one other cat that I know of in, out there in the community. We'll call him Mr. K once more. And then I've got my own... Once we have a Jet Lion, we'll have the Maka named. Two Jet Lions, actually, because I've got another one that we have just named simply Grey. She is the middle cap. Look at three. What are your animals out there in the comments? Let me know. Lowe's victory. I mean, there's a few There's a few enemies across the field, but we've got all of the means to slaughter them. So, in the next battle, we'll have ourselves a throwdown for the city of Hexawaddle itself. And since we were a smart and attack clock outside, he has called for help. The settlement garrison and Jiren Bato are coming in to help. Lotsosaurus should be a excellent battle. Now I'm out of time today though. Thank you all so much for stopping by today's Yuanbo episode. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like for the light god and a sub to the sub bell. Until the next one.